morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to the BNN Magazine Show. I'm Maddie Smith. And I'm Soraya Farmer. This week, we'll be showing you more on Connor Boyle, men's volleyball, a unique English project, and the student body officer elections. Watch this segment to learn more about Columbus North senior Connor Boyle. Connor Boyle was recently awarded the Lilly Scholarship, which provides a full ride scholarship to any Indiana State school. He will use this scholarship to study computer programming in college. This is uh, infrastructure of the internet. The way I see myself is kind of a leader, mentor, and, and teacher mostly. As a senior, I work a lot with the juniors and sophomores in this class, especially with the networking component of infrastructure of the internet. Um, in this class especially, I do give uh, some lectures. Usually every other day we talk about certain things in the curriculum um, that they're working on. I've always been interested in, in computer technology ever since I was really little. In elementary school and middle school I was the one who could fix computers for the teachers. So I figured that taking this class was kind of a... It fit really well with the kinds of things that I liked and enjoyed. Um, as well, I, I think the people that are in this class, we all have the same kind of mindset. We're all very technically savvy and we're, we understand uh, kind of what it takes to make a large network or a large system be able to work. This class is not like your traditional academic class. Um, although we do deal with a lot of networking theory, uh, we immediately go to hands-on projects and we start applying that kind of theory. We do a lot of other uh, practical, uh, technical training, um, be it setting up networks, setting up servers, making computers able to uh, talk to each other, looking at how computers and devices that are on the network communicate with each other, and overall it's just a, a really fun atmosphere. This is probably the biggest thing that, that we've been working on um, this year. We actually installed security cameras in this room, so other teachers have been like, wait a minute, can we have those too? Uh, so, yeah, so the stuff that we do in here with regards to technology, we do a lot of experimentation, figuring out what things work, what things don't. Um, this is also the class that does the Christmas light display every year outside. We have programmers and electricians that, that run all those things. So, so far I've applied to schools for computer science um, and I want to specialize in some sort of um, computer technology or networking um, aspect. A, a lot of computer science is programming and, and coming up with the actual code that makes the computers run, but also having a background of networking and how computers uh, communicate with each other uh, is certainly helpful. And, uh, student body officer elections are a big part of student life here at North. Here's Emma Wilson with more. The nomination convention for the 2015-2016 student body officers will take place today, 7th and 8th period. Following the convention, you will be able to go online to the North homepage and select a tab on the right-hand side that will bring you to the voting website. Students can then vote for their favorite nominees for student body treasurer, secretary, sergeant of arms, vice president, and president. You may vote for one of the three nominees for each category. If you have any questions, you can contact current president Vince Grana for more information regarding the voting. This has been Emma Wilson reporting for BNN. This past week, an English class did a unique project. Last week, Mrs. Bingham's freshman English classes experienced their English period a little bit different than most, without shoes. The students are studying To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, where one of the main themes is compassion. Atticus tells his daughter, if you can learn a simple trick, Scout, you'll get along a lot better with all kinds of folks. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. In order to immerse themselves more in the book's theme, students were asked to draw another student's shoes and write about one of the outcasts in the book. Then they listened to Walk a Mile in My Shoes by Elvis Presley and added their own stanza. Well, in To Kill a Mockingbird, there's like a lot of different people with different like walks of life. 
Like they have a friend named Dill that comes and they're not really sure exactly where he's from or anything, but they just kind of accept him because once they get to know him, he's actually like a really fun guy to be around. I feel like sometimes people tend to have like an idea about others before they truly get to know them, like depending on if they play a sport or if they're like in band or whatever. But I've learned that if you just get to know somebody, you'll learn that they are a lot different than what you think they're going to be and that they can actually turn out a lot better than what you thought. This has been Michaela Matheny reporting for BNN. Men's volleyball season is in full swing. Watch this segment for more on this year's team. practice different plays, different styles. Uh, we scrimmaged East one time. So this year we have mostly the same guys that we had last year. We have a lot of returning seniors and we've been practicing since probably January this season so we have high hopes for how it turns out this year. The reason why I started playing volleyball is because um, my father is the coach to the team and I started playing on the high school team when I was in eighth grade. Freshman year um, in the spring, I was looking for something to do, and a couple of, my, couple of my friends were talking about joining men's volleyball, and I heard it was really fun, so I decided to join, and I've been playing ever since. Um, making it to state would be awesome this year. Uh, really hoping that we do that, because, um, I mean, a lot of the varsity team is all seniors. Uh, there's like seven seniors on the team right now. Um, and most of them play varsity, so it would be awesome for the final year to be going to state and win it. This season, we hope to get, move on to state tournament. We haven't done that yet, and I think we have a really good chance of doing that this year. The next home game is tonight versus Noblesville. And that's it for this time, Bulldogs. Be sure to tune in next time for your Columbus North Broadcast News Source. For BNN, I'm Sarah Farmer. And I'm Maddie Smith. Have a great day.